Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4, Kai's Rake as the Indo Chinese Union. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we're at war with Siam, we're at war with India. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up at war with uh, Japan soon as well. But that's okay, we can't trade with the French, they're apparently they're a little bit too far away. What about neighbors? Oh, we're missing 7 steel. We'll trade with the Yunnan clique. Who is... Somewhere. But either way, we're going to trade with them. Get the steel we need. Are you the Yunnan clique? You might be, and you just got like a... One of the cosmetic name change things. You're at 11 strength. No, come here, please. I don't want to lose any of these provinces, especially not one with a fort in it. Like again, I would like to deploy even more troops as well. Just no matter what, like... What if we attacked in? If 21 attack... The problem is, like, the river crossing is horrible. Like, it's so, so bad. That I really think all we can do is just sit here... And be a little bit defensive, but... Like, we're winning basically every combat. 64 to 12,000, I think, are pretty good numbers. And that's without these other provinces to the south. Um, also do last stand. We're gonna give us a defensive boost as well. You return to the front line, thank you very much. Like, I don't know if they're doing anything against us. Can I get a infantry expert? Yes, I mean, 10% is nice. But the entrenchment? For the first time, like, infantry expert might not be the best. The max entrenchment, like, what is your max entrenchment now? Entrenchment at zero, but it should be a little bit higher because of your general. Base is five, plus ten. We can get up, you know what? Recon bonus and entrench as well goes up, which actually allows us to maybe counter attack the enemy a little bit better. The first time in history, we're not going to go for, uh... You can't... You both connect with two provinces, unfortunately. Like, you're all attacking here. Like, the north is easier to defend just because it's all in mountains. Like, we do win 85% of battles. The only battles I think we lost were technically the ones in the... the middle here. Can I even deploy any more men? Again, I know you're very weak right now, but honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. Get your organization up. Just reinforce this line, please. Of course, reinforcements are still on top priority. And we just don't- we just don't want to lose any provinces. I also will not make you purple because you're a little hard to see. You can be the red army because you're much easier to uh, to locate. Okay, you guys are doing pretty well. Are you planes? You are planes. Like 99, like your defense is still pretty high. But I might be able to actually, but even with just one infantry, I might be able to push into that province. Again, 12,000. We've almost got 100,000 dead on them. I know you guys are weak. Your defense values aren't great. But even then, like, their attack values are honestly hot garbage. And it's a little bit difficult because we want to, um... We want to make at least some sort of advance. Like, I really wish this was core territory so we'd be able to get our gorilla bonus. But unfortunately, it's just not the case. We can't, uh... Can't rely on that at the moment. You're way too expensive for me to get. Like, I'm thinking, like, me... You know what? Another one level of excavation as well. This might be able to save us something. Okay, we did get our military ethos, which, again, was... War time, war support goes up by 10%, and the population, which is really what I was looking at. 
I think bonus infantry weapons, attack on core territory, or more defense on core territory. But not like we're the thing with core territory is just that it's very limited in what it actually applies to. Like if it doesn't apply to these regions, it only applies to things on the coast, which honestly isn't that meaningful for us. You guys are in multiple combats. You should be at least. You're not considered multiple combats. What about you? You are at least. Okay, that's that's better. Still four divisions though, which is a lot. Okay, you go reinforce this army. Only one of you is in multiple combats right now. The river sucks. But the river is also providing us with a great uh, benefit as well. We, we got to at least, you know, push out a little bit. We got we to try to make some progress here. What can I do with you? Honestly, I don't think anything. I think you just kind of sit still. You fell back. Just move back into the territory. I think you're fine just kind of constantly attacking in. Because we know what these guys are. They have no armor value. 100% soft attack. Defense, the air support of 10% is not ideal. But you're no longer in multiple combat, so your defense is still pretty good. You've got a lot of men, though. And we don't have enough steel. How much steel are we missing? We're missing seven steel. Yeah, because we can't trade with you anymore. Let's trade with Russia, actually. And how is construction of the forts going? Like they're going. It's a little bit sporadic because they can't be built in territory with, with uh, combats in them. Thank you, Nepal, for the rifles. How is the war in India going, by the way? Um, it actually looks like you're winning. Because I know if you take Delhi, there will be a peace event where you guys could really help us out. Again, it would be really nice if we can get a two-front war going on here. And I don't know if there's... Like, you can't... You don't have a focus tree. You can't do anything. And the Entente. Have you declared war on... No, you've not declared war on the international quite yet. That does mean that there is still a big threat to us. Well, this 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 area would actually be completely open, which is nice. You guys have now secured this location. We'll send you over here to reinforce. Like we're just trying not to lose territory. For obvious reasons. Uh, research slot available. Um, you know what? Yeah. 115 days for you. Going to give us even more entrenchment. And look how these at 27 to 155. They're looking quite nice for us. You're still unlimited conscription. You can actually run out of manpower soon, I'm pretty sure. I mean, not, maybe not soon, but like... Hey, oh, you stay in Red Army. You need to be here. You can stay there. I'm trying to think, like, where do we might need troops? Like, you're at 65. You're 240 defense. We can... Okay, I was going to say maybe we can attack with this province, but we cannot. Yeah, it seems like the Siamese are like... Maybe we shouldn't just constantly be attacking into this territory because it's not working out so well for them. But we want to get across the river. And I would almost be surprised. Like, I think most of the 29,000 are also just from the guys that were event spawned in. Who just got their ass kicked immediately. Because you are entrenching. Your max entrenched is at 25. 
How do you have better entrenchment than I do? I don't know, but you're doing pretty well on that. Okay, let's try two attacks here. No, you need to be attacking if we don't want reinforcements to come to this province. Force attack, I think, is going to be too much here. So you might need to stop attacking here. You guys stop attacking as well. Which sucks, and now this gets a guy who gets an extra province, but... Okay, they're doing it for another round of assaults. Again, I think that's kind of okay. Like, are you in multiple combats? The answer is no. Yep, here comes the Entente. Okay, so Red Army, you need to immediately move your way up towards Hanoi. Like, we knew that they were coming. It just really sucks that there's, like, nothing I can do about this. I mean, I guess I could have just, like, not joined up with the, uh... Not joined up with this guy's war. Well, the alternative was basically just trying to uh, hold off Anton attacks indefinitely. There's never going to be a point in which um, the Anton would just give up, unfortunately. Yeah, so I know the Australians have landed over here. You guys hold position. We got our artillery upgrades. You guys hold position. I do not like the Australians. And I wish they were not here. Okay, we got one Australian cavalry division there. We might need to pull back slightly. Carlos of Spain's capitulation should mean that the King of Spain has won their war. Yeah, you keep hold keep holding the line. Like it's difficult. It's a difficult war. Because you don't You're just more about population, which doesn't help me. Neither do any of you guys. working condition. Okay, so you're on your way. If we can get you troops cut off, that could be nice. Uh, you're the entrenchment bonuses. A year for defenses there doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Let's just, you know, let's get the fighters up. Yeah, and you're immediately coming over here. How long is that going to take? 16 hours? If I was going to Hanoi, it'd take one day. Yes, yeah, so you just come here, please. Your defense is still pretty bad. We're holding down in the south decently enough. Yeah, so you do something like this. And we actually... Okay, you, you've already gone to Hanoi. Just, just, just go to Hanoi, please. Because we should have defensive bonuses out the ass here. Yeah, country it's a 60% defensive boost, but it's a negative 20% attack, which is... Like, we actually attack better over here than we do in our own country, which is uh, amazing to me. Let's see if we can push one province. Like, if we're pushing anywhere, it's going to be in the south. Okay, so we've taken Hanoi. Please take the port. Okay, 
I'm trying to think. Cause you're 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 getting you're all getting attacked. Everybody's getting attacked everywhere. Um. You're not doing enough damage. Is this for the artillery? Yeah, I know, I know that. We also got some manpower now for Liberation Day. Thank you. We're going to send in an extra militia to defend that. Like, if we can take the port and hold it, it'll at least get these guys to have no supplies after a while. So, honestly, just hold the port. It'll suck if we lose Hanoi as well. And you're still defending Saigon. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you're just not attacking over a river, which is nice. Honestly, all of you push here. No, then you guys push here. You you go to the, the north. See if maybe we can push in here. Do not go this this don't go up there. Just stay down here, please. I guess you can't really go up that way quite yet. It's a little bit risky. Because you're at two. Uh, we can't last stand, unfortunately, at the moment. Do we have one or two divisions there? We're going to have three divisions there. That's too many. If you fell back, it's going to make our front line so much larger. That we have to do something like this. To at least hold these guys off for a little bit. Because, again, we're at 215 on them, 47,000 for us. And some of that, I'm guessing, is against Australia as well. Yeah, Australia's already killed 1.3 thousand of our troops. Is less than ideal. Yeah, so you can at least link this up. Kiev has fallen. I think that's good for us. I don't know how many Australian troops are around here, though, which is unfortunate. Full position where you are. Like, these guys should be running out of supplies by this point. They actually don't have a commander. I don't know why that would be the case, but they just don't. Yes, yeah, so as long as you can get back to this province to reinforce. You should be doing a little bit better. But there's just so many... So many troops, and I wish I could put the Red Army back to... Uh... Are you actually going to surround yourself? How long are you going to be there? Are you going to be there in three days? If the AI wants to get themselves surrounded, I won't say no to that. New textbooks. War support stability. In order to awaken a military spirit of the Indo Chinese people, we have introduced a complete set of reforms for education, including military training and elementary school. Um, here's an example of a question in. Uh, okay, so one Indo Chinese soldier kills five Huns. Seven Indo Chinese soldiers kill 43 Hun scums. How many Hunic Bandits will live? Um, I do want stability, so we'll go with 8 on that. You need the whole position now because you're also getting attacked. Everybody's getting attacked everywhere, which is unfortunate. But we want you to close the gap. Which will be in... Why are you here? I guess it, this does connect, actually, so... Are you on this front? No. You go here. You keep marching this way. You can be multiple combats. Now, you just march into this province. And that'll get the surround here done. And I, I don't think they're going to be coming back here. There's going to be a naval invasion in the south, but there always is. So there's a naval invasion in the south. We might want to get you out of here. How are you doing, by the way? You're making very modest gains, but but Hyperbad is going to invade the Indi uh, invade the Dominion, which is actually good for us. Oh, Romania has done a fantastic job. They actually take Kiev from the south, which is not really what I was expecting. Even though I don't I don't see what's super unexpected by that, but I would like to put. I've actually lost a division here.
You go to purple. Just fill that up. You're not going to get up to the north in time. Who is this? The Darcy the Indies? How long till I get to Saigon? You'll get in Saigon in one day. You will land in one day, five hours. So at least won't lose Saigon. But it's still pretty bad. But again, this is kind of what I was expecting. To be honest. And none of... Like, the Entente just has no interest in invading, uh... Yes, defend against the, uh... Against the naval strikes. So basically, this is it's just gonna be like what happened to the, uh... To the Germans. Just deploy the same tactics there. And we should be good. Okay, you're gonna try to attack us. It's not gonna work. You... Should die soon. There we go. Harassment focus with even more defense. So that should be an 80% boost onto our territory. Infantry weapons. Division attrition minus 10%. Enemy air support goes down. That seems actually pretty good. And with 172 military power or political power. Just, I guess, go a fighter manufacturer. I really don't know. We'll need to deploy south down to the Time Republic. Are you in the, uh... You are in the Austrian faction. Okay, that's really bad for us. Sardinia has invaded into Burma. This is also not ideal. You're sick? Wait, when did you get sick? How long are you sick for? You're wounded for 69 days. I don't know if I can replace you with anybody good enough right now. But I need to probably last stand for the defensive boost. So for the next two months, we're going to throw you in charge. Defense boost. It sucks because I don't want to use you. But you're really the best we got. Yeah, you gotta keep fighting this guy. Like, it, it's... It's much closer than I would like it to be. Did I actually... I think Siam's actually getting stronger and stronger, which is unfortunate. Zamatsu projects. You did ho Does that mean that you had a... Okay, you did host the Tokyo conference. Which, luckily, Siam did not agree to. As far as I can tell. Unless they're about to join the Japanese faction, which in case, uh, we're screwed. Well, that's okay. I think that's I think that's fine, maybe. But I think it's gonna be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everyone for watching my Zantam. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, now do we close thumb down. Watch more subscribe and goodbye.